Welcome to the Lake Shasta and Shasta Dam update for January 2023. As a result of several recent atmospheric river events, Lake Shasta's water level has risen dramatically. Lake Shasta's water level is 981 feet above sea level. That's an increase of 63 feet since December 1st. Before we review the latest Lake Shasta news and statistics, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your support. A relentless series of atmospheric rivers have dumped a tremendous amount of rain in the Lake Shasta watershed in the past few weeks. Rain accumulation for the 2023 water year, which began on October 1, 2022, is currently 33.8 inches. While it is yet very early in the season, the accumulated precipitation in 2023 is close to that for the entire wet season in 2022. The California Department of Water Resources echoed this sentiment in a recent press release stating, Conditions so far this season have proven to be strikingly similar to last year when California saw some early rainstorms and strong December snow totals only to have the driest January through March on record. Approximately 30% of California's water needs are met by the Sierra snowpack and is an important factor in determining how the Department of Water Resources manages the state's water resources. The snowpack in the Upper Sierra's natural ability to store water is why it is often referred to as California's frozen reservoir. The water elevation at Lake Shasta is currently 85 feet below full pool and 167 feet above minimum power pool. On December 1st, Lake Shasta's capacity was just over 30 percent. Today, thanks to all that rain, California's largest reservoir has risen to over 53 percent. The current water level is 20 feet below the historical average elevation for this date. The highest water level at Lake Shasta was recorded on May 31, 2019, when the reservoir peaked at 1,064 feet. That's just shy of the full pool elevation of 1,067 feet. The record low for the reservoir was set during the drought of 1977, when the water level dropped to 836 feet above mean sea level. When we look at previous year's water level for the same date, we see the Lake Shasta Reservoir has increased by 51 feet compared to the same time last year. When compared to 2021, the reservoir is 19 feet higher. Water levels in the reservoir are 22 feet higher than they were in 2008, when the reservoir was experiencing historically low water levels. The current capacity of the Lake Shasta Reservoir is 2,450,000 acre feet, which is just below the historical average capacity for this date. The record low of 563,000 acre feet was set in September 1977. Full pool capacity is 4,552,000 acre feet. Over the past few weeks, a barrage of atmospheric river events, streams of moisture in the atmosphere that transport water vapor from the tropics, has reduced the drought intensity in California. According to U.S. Drought Monitor, the recent storms have completely eliminated extreme drought from California. Just three months ago, more than 40% of the state was classified in the extreme drought category. As we mentioned earlier, Lake Shasta is currently 53% of capacity compared to 34% a year ago. Most of California's other reservoirs are also seeing increases in capacity. Lake Oroville was 45% of capacity at this time last year and is now at 60%. The San Luis Reservoir has increased from 39% a year ago to 49% today and Don Pedro has increased from 55% to 75%. The capacity at Folsom Lake is the same as last year, but Folsom is already in flood control mode. This means the water is already being released to allow future rains and the spring snowmelt runoff. The snowpack in the upper Sacramento River watershed, which feeds into Lake Shasta, is also in good shape. The snow water equivalent, which is the amount of water that is stored in the snowpack, is presently at 102% of the April 1st average and 197% of average for this date. This is an excellent start to the wet season. When that snow melts in the spring, it should raise Shasta's water elevation significantly. As always, I will continue to monitor the situation and provide you with regular updates. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I really value your support. Thanks for watching.